Rewind, brought to you by our friends over at AMC Theaters. This is a segment where we go back in time. We don't have a DeLorean, we just do it. We got 10 years, we got 20 years, and Natasha, please tell us, what the hell opened 10 and 20 years ago? Well, 10 years ago, Basic Instinct 2, Ooh. Ice Age, The Meltdown, wow. and Slither opened. Whoa. But Baffa weekend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, about 20 oh. years ago. And 20 years ago, Sergeant Bilko carried away and all dogs go to heaven too. Okay, Aww. so this is this is something that if you were in a loophole like James Franco in 11 and you walked into this day 10 or 20 years ago, you just don't go to the movies. Right. <laughs> uh, I mean, there, 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 is, there is nothing going Wait, on. Wait, 20 here. years ago or 10 years ago? Both. No. no. Uh, what? You're all crazy. Times Go to Heaven 2 is very sweet you guys? and Slither. carried away. That's, that's 10 years ago. Yeah, 10 years, uh, 10 years, ago. years ago. Wait. So, there, so there, I mean, James, James Gunn, that's, a, that's the one thing. Is, and Slither, you could basically, you could that that is a fun movie. Slither so, is incredible, But amazing. it's not a movie theater movie. Yes, it is. You think so? All yeah, right, I know so I saw it in the don't movies. get mad Wait, I'm mad at you Harloff. don't want to see you don't want to see the the Dennis Hopper version of Poison Ivy co carried away <laughs> okay, let's no <laughs> Schnapp. now Slither is fun. it's a lot of fun that's 10 years ago yes let's go 10 years ago All Slither right. talk to me about Slither why is it in what was it a must see in theater movie right. experience number one it is an incredible tribute to all of the other kinds of uh you know invasion of the body snatchers slash the blob it's a great horror film where it's like a all the, the whole town gets in you know infected by yeah. this grotesque weird thing and uh the actor from Walking Dead Michael Rooker he's he was very unknown at the time uh he was Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer no one wanted to hire him unless he was a murderer oh. uh this movie he was also kind of a crunchy weirdo but <laughs> he stole it and he was like he was great in it it had all these amazing like I mean the cast alone it's like Nathan Fillion, give me a break. It's like a, it's a, you know, a nerd's wet dream. It's a, it's like every single person who's in it, you've seen them rise to fame in, in the nerd community. James Gunn especially did an incredible job directing this film. Tons of amazing practical effects. It's gross. It's funny. I cannot believe anyone who doesn't like it. Give me a break. You haven't seen it. Got to go see it. See it again. Check out Slither. That's the only one out of this entire basket full of weirdo films. I totally agree. Although the fans are yelling at me. This year, they were yelling at you first when I said anything about Slither. They said, get him, Schnepp. So, uh, so <laughs> that's so right, son. I got so, you protected, So they yo. definitely wanted you to do that. Uh, they want to uh, kick, kick my butt. I guess you did that as well, too. People are asking me as far as uh, what about All Dogs Go to Heaven? People really like Yeah, that's a that. great movie. Um, never saw it. Oh, it's super sweet. Really? It's the, super sweet. Yeah, Millennium Falcon guy hates me so thank you for that uh and and there's uh there's a lot but there's a lot of the the two that they were uh, they were really picking was both all dogs go to heaven and slither but let's talk about something in a second uh, basic, talk about basic basic, basic instant instant too oh my god I mean, we're going, just going back to the, the danny Boyle train spotting conversation right that's where sharon stone's like excuse me i need to do something <laughs> um, I just, something uh and i will wear that dress again and like uh. what and then she did it anyway. She looked great in the movie still. For I mean, I think she was. It was about ten or fifteen years too late to do the oh movie. Oh my god! But what a train wreck! It yeah. is. It is listed Ooh. as one of the worst sequels of all time, and it should be because yeah. it is. I mean, the governor was in it from <laughs> Walking Dead, and he's how he survived that movie. He is indeed the governor. But uh, it, it is a. Uh, it is an absolute fart fest. Yeah. Um, oh so man! See, film. I gotta say, you guys <laughs> are doing a terrible job of making me not want to see it. <laughs> my best friend and I have single star Netflix nights where we watch like the worst thing we can find on Netflix and this seems like a serious contender. It's a 7% on Rotten yes, Tomatoes right. but it also has Charlotte Rampling in it. How can you not see a 7% know, Charlotte Rampling I movie? I feel I am intrigued. You've got to make I'm, this one of your uh, single star nights. Oh, Do it man. in the middle if you're doing three movies. This should be the middle <laughs> one. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, which any those, it. did any of those stand out to you at I, all? Well, I, did anybody see? see Carried Away? Because Carried Away, if you saw Poison Ivy with Drew Barrymore back in the day, this is very much the oh, same really? movie. Only the blonde girl instead of Drew Barrymore is the girl from Crybaby, the blonde girl who was in Crybaby. Do you remember Ooh, her? Man. I don't remember her name. It was like Amy Amy Lacane or something. Okay. Um, but it's it's so terrible. Like misleading, she misleading, misleading. It looks like totally, a Nicholas Sparks. It does. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. but like Dennis Hopper's her like professor, and she boards a horse at his house, and then she seduces him right. and it's Amy Irving who actually is really great in a lot of things like Delancey Street was a movie I loved when I was growing up but yeah it's garbage oh, so right. you don't see that but All Dogs Go to Heaven is great and we're totally ignoring Sergeant Bilko yes starring, we are uh, we are ignoring it okay, we won't even say who's yeah, in it because it's well not so... anymore because yeah. 
but in I the love universe. Steve Martin. Yeah. Let's ignore Bilko. Bye. <laughs> hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.